Hello everybody, Captain Marty here. It is Tuesday, June the 18th, and uh, we have a lot to talk about in the fish report. The Big Rock Tournament is behind us now, and uh, our fleet had some great fishing. So did the inshore guys. I'll tell you all about it in just a second. Fishing Ocracoke is the ultimate lifetime dream for a lot of people. Captain Ernest with Gecko Sport Fishing and the Drum Runner can help you achieve that dream to the fullest. Whether you're looking to go offshore for tuna, mahi, and billfish, or inshore for puppy drums, speckled trout, and more, Gecko Sport Fishing and the Drum Runner can go from 2 feet to 2,000 feet of water. Full day, half day, and evening trips are available. Call Captain Ernest at 252-921-0095. Gecko Sport Fishing and the Drum Runner. Make your Ocracoke fishing dream a reality. Hi, I'm Captain Jay Cudworth of the Kokomo with Paradise Dolphin Cruises at Safe Harbor Marina in Wanchese. I want to invite you to take a ride out on the Roanoke Sound to see the majestic bottlenose dolphins up close. As a native, I'll be telling you stories from these waters as a boy growing up in Wanchese. Nature and history have combined to make this area unique, and I love sharing this special place with special people. So come on aboard with me and my crew and experience the real beauty of the Outer Banks. For more information, go online to Paradise Dolphin Cruises. Cruises.com. Again, this is Captain Jay. I look forward to seeing you soon. So we'll talk about offshore fishing like we always do first. Um, down in Hatteras, the offshore fishing was good yesterday. So it's had some excellent catches of mahi-mahi, mostly the balers from what I could see. But, you know, if you catch a limit, that's 60 fish. And then, then you round that out with a wahoo or two. They had some good blackfin tuna fishing. And then uh, a couple of billfish. Actually, in Hatteras yesterday, there was sail, a couple of sailfish, a couple of blue marlin, and at least one white marlin. So you had that going on. And then uh, you had some guys doing a little bit of bottom fishing, um, catching amberjack, cobia, bluefish, and drum. So good report for Hatteras. Now, they also had something else we don't talk about a lot on the fish report. They had really good clamming yesterday with some of their backcountry boats. And they, uh, you know, Hatteras style clam chowder is the best in the world. So that was good. The Oregon Inlet Fleet. Also, lots of mahi in the catches, and uh, they continued to do pretty good on the tunas, too. Um, seemed like yesterday was more of an either-or type of thing. They also are bottom fishing for tilefish, uh, amberjack, sea bass. This is the variety here. Sea bass, red snapper, all that stuff. So that's been good. And then they have an inshore fleet that's catching Spanish mackerel. Uh, what else have I got? Some bluefish in there and some bonita mackerel, something we also don't talk about very much. So what I would have to say is that the offshore fleets had a good day of fishing and should have more of the same. We roll into the beaches, piers and surf fishing again are pretty much the same. Um, bluefish, Spanish mackerel on either oar, and then uh, some cobia still being caught on the piers. And there's other stuff too, a speckled trout, um, a puppy drum, and a black drum. There were several black drum caught yesterday. And if you're very lucky, maybe a pompano, not many of them being caught, but there's a few. So that's all, all good. And then I got some great information, great report from the sound fishing, the back country fishing. I'll be right back with that in just a second. Locally owned and operated since 1971, Billy's Seafood has been providing the locals and visitors of the Outer Banks with some of the freshest seafood you'll find. Not too far off the beaten path down Collington Road in KDH, Billy's Seafood has become a landmark for those seeking top-notch seafood at affordable prices. Billy's Seafood also has beer, wine, grandma's tuna salad, and other groceries as well. To see more, go online to billyseafoodobx.com. Billy's Seafood, putting fresh seafood on your table for over 50 years. So back in the back country, the Pamlico Sound, the Roanoke Sound, the Croatan Sound, the Estuaries, the Albemarle Sound, it's been a good speckled trout spring, soon to be officially summer. And yesterday, an old friend had a really great catch, Robin Mann of Man Boat Works, wife of my old friend Paul Mann, uh, was out speckled trout fishing, um, and she caught yesterday a six-pound, 10-ounce, 28-inch speckled trout. That is a sow trout for sure. So, Robin, congratulations on your catch. And I saw numerous other trout in the three to five pound range. And as I've been saying, the size is good. So, uh, speckled trout bite still on. 
Um, we also know that there's some other stuff. I saw some black drum and sheephead yesterday in catches. Um, and, you know, I actually forgot to mention that down on the Bonner Bridge, uh, on the old Bonner Bridge, which is a free fishing pier, uh, they've been doing pretty good on sheephead down there as well. So sheephead, black drum, around any kind of structure you can find. And then you might stumble into a bluefish uh, or a puppy drum while you're doing your speckled trout fishing. So that fishing remains very consistent and very good. And if you say that's out of my league, I don't know how to do it you can book a boat a backcountry guided boat they didn't even have them when i was fishing they didn't have guided boats where you have a captain with um you take two or three people out there and go out like you're fun fishing sort of like the bonefish boats do down in the florida keys well we have it now and all of our major marinas offer that service so all you have to do is ask you can find out about the pricing and generally two people is ideal and then the captain you you know so figure in all of your expenses the cost of the trip what it typical tip would be you probably will not have much in the way of fish cleaning but you can really that's basically a paid fishing lesson and uh you can go out there and see how the pros do it and have a lot of fun so that's what's going on on the fishing front we'll keep you posted if anything changes i'll be going down as you already know i'll be going down on sunday to the hatter's martin club and be down there all of next week for that tournament looking forward to that i love the people at hatter's they're so good to me down there it's just a ball of fun at the Hatteras Morning Club, which a lot of the people in the Outer Banks don't even know where that is or what that is. But it's a private, very exclusive resort marina with all the amenities that you would want. And uh, we're going to have a good time down there next week. And you can follow my podcast and I'll tell you all about it. So have a great day. Be careful on the water, wear your sunscreen, and catch fish.